All right, welcome Wilderness fans. Sorry, we were attempting to try to do a live stream, but we just cannot get the broadband over here to make it worthwhile. So we just took me a second to put some equipment away so that I could start the film. So we are going to be on a tape delay for this broadcast as the Wenatchee Wilderness are gonna go up against the New Hampshire Avalanche. So far, it's been all wilderness for the first minute of the game as they've entered the avalanche zone and have stayed there. Shot just taken over on the left side, controlled by the avalanche goalie. 23-52 left to go, first period. And we'll have a face-off and the avalanche in. So, just finished up the game between the Wenatchee Wolves and the same New Hampshire Avalanche. They won 5-3 as the Avalanche take the face off, wrap it around, but the only person to get there is Zach Johnson. Zach Johnson dumps it in from the corner. Picked up by Ball. Ball sends it out in front. No one's there except first, and then Kathy comes and tries to take a shot. Picked up by the Avalanche, launched into the neutral zone. Picked up there by Hodston and carried, taken then initially by, or afterwards by the Avalanche and in behind the Wenatchee for their first offensive series. That'd be the Wenatchee net. Shot taken, comes off the back of Hodston, sits up in front of the net. Johnson's gonna corral it in the circle, takes a hit. Wells is gonna skate it up through mid center ice, sends it over to Kathy. Kathy gets to the top of the circle, pinned up against the board, tries to get it back over to a Wenatchee player, but there's only Avalanche players there instead. Avalanche go for a change. Wells has got it, gets it from Lorenzis, sends it deep and Wells goes in to get a substitution as well. Pucks deflected by Stenholm. And the Avalanche are gonna get it back behind their net, send it over towards the corner there to defend it. Is one show, but gets into the neutral zone regardless. Lorenzis on the fence now. Lays down, stops the puck, shot off the board. And behind the net. That's Lorenzo, sends it towards the point. Gets back past him. Stenholm's on the run. He comes over, makes a good play. Sends it back in the corner. Avalanche gets it to the neutral zone. Lorenzo is on the defense. Wunschel comes over to help him out. Pinned up against the board. And... Out with it come the Avalanche. They send it over towards the top of the circle. Shots taken in off the chest protector of, is it Bovi in that? Yeah. Bovi. And Stenholm carries it out. Stenholm comes in on the right side, sends one towards the middle. There to push it away is the goalie for Avalanche. Flynn with it, comes around, tries to sneak one in, and he does. Flynn acts like he's gonna go wrap around behind the net. And instead he stops and reaches a ground on the same side and puts it in past the goalie to score the first goal of the game at 21-21, left in the first half. Natchee Wilderness take the early lead. On the Flynn goal. On the play, Wenatchee gets a Shuckman penalty, and they're gonna have, be on the penalty kill. I believe there must have been a misconduct after that play as he goes into the box right after the goal. Wenatchee's able to get it in back behind the board. Little Littler gives chase, and the Avalanche move forward. Cross mid-ice into the, into the Wenatchee end, back behind the net. Up top of the circle, two moves to the point, dumps it in deep, behind the net, there to defend it is Jensen. Jensen's able to get to the puck, carries it across the circle, gets it to mid-ice, and Littler picks it up. Twenty forty three twenty forty left to go in the first half, 1.13 left in the penalty. Behind the Wenatchee net, 
hit there by Wells, sent all the way back down to the other end, and we'll have 101 left to go in this penalty kill for the Wilderness. Avalanche at the circle, deflected by Wells, sent in behind the net, pile up behind the net, several players go down, puck comes out to the neutral zone, picked up by the Avalanche. Avalanche at the point, steps up towards the top of the circle. Pass is picked up by Yates. Kat Kathy was knocked down at the top of the circle. He's slow to get up and he skates towards the bench. 21 seconds left to go in the power play for the Avalanche as they knock it off the board and it's sent right back down to the other end by Wunschel. Pass is intercepted by Lorenzis. He tries to get it in. Kept in by Ball. Ball skates to the circle, turns around. Penalty's over, five on five hockey as Lorenzis takes a shot wide right on the one-timer. Dropped in deep by Johnson. There to get it is Ball. He's pressured by the avalanche. Lorenzis with a big hit just inside the blue line, puts an avalanche player on the ice. Pass goes in behind the net. The avalanche goalie comes out to get it. It goes all the way back to mid-ice. I didn't see it. As Carruthers picks it up, back towards Jensen. Jensen retreats. Sends it towards center ice. Kimberly touches it. And then Stenholm picks it up. He grabs the puck. He's going to make a move in front of the net. Goes in front and poked away and then put back on the board by Basanta. Basanta sends it to Carruthers. Carruthers can't hold on. And a shot goes off the post. And out. Lucky play for the Wilderness on that. Stenholm comes up. Makes a move. Oh, a big hit on Stenholm by the Avalanche. He goes down in the goal. Oh, excuse me, that was Kimmerly. Goes down in the corner. Flynn picks up the puck. He sends it over to Stenholm. Stenholm turns around. Sends it out in front. No one's there to get it. But Wells steps up takes a shot off the feet of an avalanche player and back into the corner. Flynn keeps it in, sends it in deep. Wenatchee's going to go for the change. And a long pass by the avalanche gets into the Wenatchee end. There to corral it is Hodgson. He sends it into the corner. Initially pinned up there picked up by Littler. Littler gives it to Yates. Yates going to make a move. He goes the outside, comes back in across, looks towards the front, keeps, loses the puck, goes all the way out to the point, and is taken by the avalanche, but Yates is there to pressure him and get it right back. Lorenzis sends it in towards Flynn. Flynn. Then it gets to Littler. Littler sends it to Yates. Yates takes a backhander. It's stopped by the goalie. Wunschel keeps it in, sends it deep. Avalanche turn the other way, go to mid-ice. Big hit at the board, at the blue line on Lorenzis. Comes back into the corner, Lorenzis gonna step up. He can't get the handle on it, Avalanche are gonna turn it the other way. Ball comes in. Tries to take it off the board. It's deflected up into the netting. And we'll have a neutral zone faceoff with 16.24 left to go. No, that's mine. In the first. They want me to get close to you. Oh, okay. Ball takes the puck. He's going to have it back in the corner. Sends it over to Johnson. Johnson sends it out in front. Picked up. At the top of the circle, Jensen's gonna take it. Shot goes in, deflected out in front of the net. Picked up by the avalanche and sent in the neutral zone. Jensen turns around, he retreats. He's looking for an opening. Sends it towards the middle, picked up by the avalanche. They turn the corner, good play by Ball. Takes the puck away. Ball gets through with the puck. Comes to the top of the circle, sends it to Johnson. Johnson trying to get it to the middle, can't do it. Pinned up against the board. 
Ball comes out with it, turns around, looks, he's got Basanta. Can't get the puck to him, but Basanta gets to it anyway. Basanta carries it up, up against the board. He's pulled down, that should be a tripping, no call on the play. And it goes the other way. Stenholm gathers it in, takes a look, sends it across over to Carruthers. Carruthers gets it to Jensen. Jensen's gonna take it, to, sends it in deep. And the puck comes out. She was touched by the avalanche, but there's no whistle on that as it goes by their bench. Comes around off the board, and Bovey puts a glove on it, and we'll get a whistle. It's 15.08 left to go in the first half. Scores one to nothing in favor of the Wilderness. Face-off goes to Wenatchee. Wenatchee carries it out. That's going to be Yates. Yates is, comes across on the right. Coke checked away by the Avalanche, but Yates is the first one to get to it. Comes in behind the net, drops the puck off towards Flynn, but it's picked up by the Avalanche. Puck comes into the neutral zone. Lots of hitting going on the backside of the play. And we're going to have an offsides on the Avalanche as they attempt to carry it into the Wenatchee end. 14.49 left in the first half with a one goal advantage for the Wilderness. Neutral zone face off. Littler's gonna take it. Puck's dropped. Controlled by Wenatchee, sent over to Wells. Wells sends it up and it touches off Littler's stick, bounces in. Goalie gloves it about 10 feet outside the circle. And draws the whistle, 14.40 play in the first half. Littler with the face off, goes straight to Yates. Yates sends it over towards the Carruthers. Carruthers moves towards the board. Good play by Carruthers as Littler tries to put it in. Sent in towards the board behind the net. Yates is dragged down from behind. No whistle on that either. As Carruthers sends it in. Avalanche get it towards mid ice. Jensen on the defense. Shots off of Jensen's feet. He moves forward. Takes it again, Jensen's got an opportunity. He sends it towards Flynn. Flynn sends it back to Jensen. Jensen steps in, sends it over and it's up. Good stop by the goalie as he's able to slide over and block it up behind the net. Nice play there by Jensen and Flynn. As the Avalanche move forward, come into the Wenatchee in, steps over, backhand, corralled by Bovey. And with 13.48 left in the first, we get whistle. One to nothing is the score in this contest. Wilderness have the advantage. Ball steps in to take the draw on the left circle. Comes out back towards the Wenatchee in. Wunschel sends it around the net, behind the net. Picked up in the neutral zone by Johnson. Johnson makes a move, goes to the right side, gets to the top of the circle, poke check back to Wunschel. Wunschel sends it in, it's off the skates of a player in front of the net. Back into the corner is Johnson, he's battling. Out with it comes the avalanche. They try to get it past Wunschel, they're not gonna do it. Wunschel sends it back towards Johnson. Johnson sends it across and finds Kathy. Kathy gets it in behind the net. Out in front there, trying to get Kathy again. He just gets a stick on it, can't make the shot. And the Avalanche send it in deep. There to chase, it's Lorenzis. Picked up by Wunschel. Sent out to Johnson. Johnson gets it quickly out to Stenholm. Pulled away from Stenholm, and the Avalanche are gonna go the other way. Top of the circle shot, sent off to the right by Bovey. Picked up, I believe, by... Kathy sent over the other way off the board. And into the corner, Wunschel's gonna grab it. He turns around, he's got a little bit of open ice. Pops it up to Kimberly. Kimberly sends it across to Stenholm. Tapped into the zone and back the other way. Basantis quickly picks it up into the neutral zone. Dumps it in. Stenholm's there on the chase. Picked up by the avalanche. Stenholm's gonna see if he can pressure him to make a mistake. Comes out into the neutral zone. Kimberly's there, good pinch by Kimberly. 
Puck goes into the Wenatchee end, but quickly corralled by Hodson. Well sent, tries to send it forward, deflected by the Avalanche. Well gives chase, and it's sent back into the neutral zone by the Avalanche. Comes the other way. There to pick it up is Skinholm, poked away again into the center ice. Skinholm takes a shot right in front of me. As he did, just turns around, didn't see it coming, and gets pushed down on the ice right inside the board. No calls, as it looked like it was probably a pretty good hit. Shot taken from just inside the blue line by the Avalanche. Hits the board, and Wells goes back and gets, picks it up behind the net. Wells sends it in towards Littler. Littler touches it, goes back into the corner, and he gives chase. Pinned up against the board. Puck sent out. Jensen's going to take a one-timer and is wide right. Behind the net is Yates, I believe, but the puck's picked up by the Avalanche and sent into the neutral zone. Goes behind the Wenatchee net. Carruthers is there. He sends it behind towards Jensen. Jensen sends it across to Flynn. Flynn's got an opportunity here. He stops... And there's a whistle, I believe, as there's an avalanche player on the ice just inside the blue line on the Wenatchee end. And I did not see what happened. Referees confer. We'll try to figure out what the call is going to be. We have 10.45 left in the first. They pick up the puck. Move into the avalanche end, so there must be no call on the play. 10.45 left in the first, scores one to nothing in favor of the Wilderness. Ball steps in to take the face off. Comes out to the Wenatchee end. And initially the Avalanche have it, but dumped in by Kathy. Kathy with the puck, tries to get through, can't get through the Avalanche players. Comes off of Johnson's feet, sent back in. And around, I believe that's around Carruthers it goes. There to help out his ball, comes back, Jensen's gonna have it. He sends it back to the corner, Carruthers is there. Tries to send it across, but Catches Kathy in the feet. Going to go the other way, up in front. Sticks all over the ice. Dumped in again, deflected by Kathy. Tries to get it up. He's got Johnson in front of him. He's going to skate it himself. That's Jensen. I'm sorry, I thought it was Kathy. Up at the top of the circle. Shot taken by Ball and deflected by Johnson. Just over the net on a good play by Johnson. Pinned up against the board. His ball comes out with it. Shot taken one time, knocked off to the left by the goalie and then sent down to the other end by the avalanche. We'll have an icing call. 9.33 left to go in the first period. Stenholm's going to have the face-off duties as he steps in. Puck comes out. Controlled by Wenatchee. Sent in deep onto the right side. There to pressure it was Stenholm. Back now in the corner again. Lorenzis tries to keep it in. He can't, but he's got Wunschel to help him out. Wunschel with the puck. Bounces it off the board. Stop. And just inside the avalanche end, it goes top of the circle. And back into the neutral zone. Wunschel again has the puck. He gives it over to Lorenzis. Back to Sten. Excuse me. Kimberly, and then back to Wunschel. Back towards board it goes. Stenholm's there. Avalanche are able to get it out, but Wells is going to be there to pick it up. Opportunity here for Basanta as he moves up, takes a shot. Look, 
Gets the circle, a lot of pressure. He steps back, sends it in deep. So Nachi's gonna get a change here. And we've got a whistle. I'm not sure what happened where the puck was. Must have gone out of play or over in the right side. Must have hit the netting because I couldn't see what, where the puck went from behind the net. But we'll have a left circle face off with Yates and Flynn helping out Littler as Littler takes a face off, sends it back to Hodston who tries to put it in. Turned around was Littler. He couldn't get a stick on it, but ends back into the corner. Flynn with it. Tries to get it back to the defense, but is blocked by the avalanche. Goes the other way. Wells steps up. Tries to move it over as Littler and picked up by the avalanche. Hodston with the defense as the pass is just a little too long. Nice block by Bovey as he puts the glove on it, sends it over to the left. Deflected shot out in front of the net, goes again to the left. This time the shot is off the leg protectors of Bovey and sent to the right. Behind the Wenatchee net. They attempt to get it out. It's Flynn. And back on the play, Hodston's going to go into the box. And it's going to be offsetting penalties, I believe, for roughing on each side. As the Avalanche send a player into the box as well. Referees are conferring with Coach McKelvey. We'll see what the final tally is. As we have 7.16 left to go in the first half, scores one to nothing in favor of the Wilderness. We're still waiting, now both referees are over. Okay, let's go. Let's Come on. Talking to the coaches, now they step away. And the referee goes over to talk to the coach for the avalanche. The referee stands in the circle, right circle for Wenatchee. Let's see if we're going to have five on five hockey or not. Uh, as two players go into the box for the avalanche now. Still nothing on the board. Referee's talking to the scorekeeper. We got two minute penalty up on the board for the Avalanche. Second two minute penalty up on the board for the Avalanche. And a five minute penalty up for on the major for Hunter Hodston. So we'll be four on three for two minutes. And then it'll be a, a power play opportunity for the Avalanche as Yates carries it across the circle. Comes out to Flynn. Flynn's gonna, or excuse me, yeah, Flynn. Flynn's gonna send it to Jensen. Yates with it, circle, moves to the top, takes a look, sends it all the way across. Flynn sends it right back. Yates looks, sends it back again. Shot taken off the crossbar and up. There to get it's Jensen. Jensen sends it back to Flynn, all the way across. Deflected, 
Top of the circle picked up again by Flynn. Flynn sends it across. Yates with it, gives it back to Jen. It's Littler. Top of the circle. Littler with it, takes a look. Shot's taken, and it's back behind the net for the Avalanche. Shot taken, oh, again, off the post by Flynn as he's hit the, bar, hit the crossbar twice on this power play. Yates with it in the circle, gives it to Flynn, or Littler. Back over to Yates. Shot's in, and it goes in. As Yates smokes one in to Jensen, who's hiding on the back door, puts it between the legs of the goalie for the second goal of the game for the Wilderness. 6.06 .06 left to play in the first half as Jensen gets the power play goal from Littler and Yates. So now it should be four on four hockey as one penalty will come off the board and that's what it looks like. 50 seconds of four on four hockey and then it'll be an avalanche power play for three minutes. Avalanche take the puck. They're going to take it into the Wenatchee end. Shot taken, deflected off to the left by Bovey on a good play. Into the corner, pinned up there. Out with it come the Avalanche. They send it back into the neutral zone. There to put the pressure on it. Stenholm, Stenholm is able to steal the puck. Top of the zone. He takes a shot deflected by the Avalanche and sitting back into neutral zone where Carruthers is going to have to pick it up. Sent in deep. There to get it is Stenholm at first, but then it has to come out and Carruthers is going to get it. Carruthers steps up the top of the circle, moves in deep, bounces it off the board behind the net. There to gather it in is Wells. Wells comes out with it. Back to Stenholm behind the net. Now we're on a power play for the Avalanche. And Wenatchee's going to carry it all the way back and see if they can burn off some clock. Lorenza sends it all the way back to the other end. It comes in and almost able to put it in and then deflected on a good play by the Avalanche goalie as Zach Johnson is just outworking the Avalanche on the penalty kill. Sent in deep, covered by Bovey, and 4.32 left to go in the first half. We'll have a faceoff on the Wenatchee end. 2.16 left in the penalty kill for the Wilderness. Littler comes in to take the draw. Comes back to the Wenatchee. They're gonna try to send it down, but it's deflected into the neutral zone. And out to give the pressure is Ball. Ball sends it across, or Ball has it sent across. And then the Avalanche are gonna to try to do it again. Deflect it off the board, takes a look. Littler with the interception, he's gonna move the other way. Just gives himself some space, takes the shot deflected by the Avalanche and it goes wide right. One forty-five left in the penalty, four minutes left in the first half. Avalanche carried it into the Wenatchee in. Back into the corner. Pressure by Yates. Sends it, brings it out, and Jensen's gonna have it. Jensen sends it up towards Stenholm, and now we have a breakaway. Sten, or excuse me, that's Flynn. Flynn makes a move. Deflected by the goalie. Tap, bounces off the crossbar. I had a little bit of a camera melt down there for a second. So I missed the, miss the face off we just had. We're gonna go back and do it all over again, it looks like, so nothing lost there. So we have 45 seconds left in the penalty kill for Wenatchee and 3.01 left in the first period. Johnson comes in to take the face off, goes back to the avalanche, the pressure at the blue line, but they're able to get it in back in deep. Wunschel's battling behind the net. He gets taken down and the Avalanche are going to send another player to the box on the trip with 250 left to play in the first half. 
when actually you'll have 34 seconds of four on four hockey and then they'll be on the power play. Stenholm is going to take the face off, comes out. Avalanche are going to retreat into their end with the puck. Misplay there, gives it up to Wells. Wells gets it out towards Shuckman. Shuckman's got a battle as he drops it right down in front and out with it comes Wells. Wells sends it over towards Carruthers. Carruthers gives it right back. And on the pinch, the puck goes out into the Avalanche. Back up off the board. Comes back, Wells is gonna gather it in again. He sends it out towards Stenholm. Stenholm's gonna cross in and make a move. Wenatchee's now on the power play. Stenholm comes in. And takes a shot deflected by the Avalanche goalie and the net comes off the posts. And we'll get a whistle with 2.09 left to play in the first half. 119 left to go in the power play for Wenatchee. And they bring in their, or excuse me, in the penalty kill for Wenatchee and they've got too many players on the ice. Excuse me, I had that all backwards. Wenatchee's on the power play, I had it wrong. So they had the right number of players as I had to, got a little confused there and Littler takes the shot deflected up into the glass. Flynn sends it back in deep. Comes right back to him, he kicks it over to Kathy and Kathy gives it to Littler who kicks it behind the net. Yates has it, gives it to Jensen, Jensen takes a look. He gets a shot up off the leg protectors of the goalie and back into the slot. Up in the air towards the board. Oh, and it's a big hit right there on Kathy. And we're gonna have another whistle. Kathy's slow to get up, but he's moving as he took a shot from behind. It's Kathy. As he skates off the ice, Looks like he's okay. Wenatchee's gonna have 40 seconds of a five on three with 1.30 left to go in the first half. Two to nothing is the score in favor of the Wilderness. As we get ready to see what this call is gonna be as the referees again confer just in front of the scorer's table. They're making the call. They don't go ask for another player off the bench. So it's just gonna be a two minute penalty, I believe. Oh, nope, it's a two and a 10. No, it's not. So we're gonna go back. It's just a two minute penalty. They're not gonna call the two and the 10. As the faceoff comes out towards Wenatchee, Flynn's got it, sends it over towards Jensen. Jensen gives it right back, top of the circle. Skated in by Flynn. Flynn's gonna take a look, moves in behind the net, tries to sneak it in, can't do it, and gives it up to the Avalanche. We're gonna send it down the other end. 20 seconds left in the five on three as Jensen skates out. And he gives it right back up to Yates. Yates is gonna skate through, poke checked by the Avalanche. Jensen's gonna give it right back to Yates. Yates makes a move, comes in across the blue line. Another move, takes a look, sends it back. Five seconds left in the five on three, 55 seconds left in the half. Flynn sends it across towards Littler. Littler takes a look. Now it's a five on four. Comes across, Jensen sends it down low towards Flynn. Flynn gets it in the corner. Sends it across, bounces over the stick, picked up by Littler. Top of the circle, moves it in, across. Flynn's not there on the back door. And they'll reset, 29 seconds left in the half. Littler at the top of the circle, sends it in low. Yates tries to get it get it in is unsuccessful. Lynn comes in, takes a shot, deflected up into the netting with 15.4 seconds left to go in the first half. As Wenatchee comes in, we're gonna to go to the right circle for this faceoff. off Wenatchee's gonna change.
Kathy's back in. No worse for the wear from the hit up against the board. They got the penalty. Puck comes out. Kept in by Wenatchee. Carruthers is there. He comes into the circle. Takes a look. Sends it in toward. He bounces off the skates of Johnson. And Ball has to chase it down. Carruthers gets it. And right at the shot, right at the clock buzzer, he's able to snap one in off the blocker of the Avalanche goalie. And we'll go into halftime. It'll be about 10 minutes before we come back to action. Scores two to nothing in favor of the Wenatchee Wilderness. And when we get back, they'll have 29 seconds of a power play to start the second half. Start of the second period as Wenatchee takes the face off and moves it into the Avalanche zone. Avalanche are quick to send it back to the other end because they're on about 20 seconds left of a power play. Get focused in here. Little confusion as we're trying to get Hockey TV to see if they're going to broadcast the second half of this wilderness game so the parents can watch it live. And there'll be five seconds left in the power play as we get an icing call against the wilderness. And we'll go back to the other end. 24 35 left to go in regulation. Scores two to nothing in favor of the wilderness. Faceoff goes back into the corner. New Hampshire's going to come out with his steps in front. Good stop by Bovey as he sends it off the other way. After the whistle, a little contact in front of the net. Sees Kathy's going to head towards the box. Penalty is expired on the avalanche. Kathy goes into the penalty box, throws two minutes up on the board, and with 24 24 left to go in the regulation, Wenatchee will be on the penalty kill. Ball's going to step in, take the face off after the penalty. Face off goes out to the avalanche. They take it to the point, try to dump it in, deflected up into the slot, comes back out and they're gonna take it from the point, back over towards the circle. Try to drop it in and can't convert on the back door play and it heads off to the left. Avalanche with it, they go towards the center, comes back out towards the center, to just inside the blue line, back into the circle and there is Wunschel trying to get it but he can't get it into the neutral zone. Avalanche skating back, top of the circle, just inside the blue line. And shot taken, and it's covered by by Bovey. I'm going to take a second here to see if I can make an announcement for some of the you parents to let you know that they've just brought Hockey TV online. So just a couple minutes of silence as I make a text. Okay, we've got 
the message sent out that Hockey TV is going to start streaming the game. I tried to keep the camera rolling, but I wasn't really watching what was happening. But we're on a neutral zone faceoff with Stenholm taking it. And it picked up by Wenatchee. Penalties on both sides. And we're at four on four hockey. Puck goes into the corner out with it's going to come. Wenatchee, as Yates sends it to Carruthers, and it's given right back up to the Avalanche. They retreat, send it deep, goes through the legs, and we'll have an icing. As with four on four hockey, icing is in play, and we're going to go back to the other end with 22.45 left to go in regulation. Wenatchee will have 20 more seconds of the penalty on Kathy and then they'll have about a minute and ten of a power play. Littler steps into the circle. He's got Flynn and Yates with him as well as for Connor Jensen. Puck goes away out towards the Wenatchee end picked up by the Avalanche. Jensen on defense. Behind the net is Flynn. Flynn's going to skate it out. Takes a look. Makes a move. Sends it towards Jensen. Jensen's going to carry it into the avalanche end. Drops it back to Flynn. Flynn sends it across. Given to Flynn. Flynn puts the shot in just left of the post. And the avalanche are going to send it the other way. One minute left in the power play for Wenatchee. Skating with it. Is Yates. Yates carries across mid ice, makes a move, gets into the blue line, he has the blue line, takes a shot, and it's a good shot by Yates, but it's just a little high as it goes up over the left corner. Back behind the net is Jensen, or excuse me, Stenholm. Stenholm sends it out to Yates. Yates gives it to Littler. Littler passes to Carruthers. Carruthers takes a shot into the blocker and in front of the net. It's kicked back towards the goalie, and he's able to cover. 21 39 left in the second half and 25 seconds left in the power play. Ball's gonna take this face off. Comes out to Hodson, Hodson tips up, takes a look, sends it in, deflected off of Ball's foot and up over the net. Wells is able to keep it in, gets it back to Ball behind the net. Comes out trying to get to Johnson, deflected by the Avalanche, sent back down to Ball. Ball sends it out in front. Johnson can't get his stick on it this time, and it's sent back all the way down. Hodson's going to give chase. We're back to five on five hockey. Pass comes from Hodson all the way back into the Avalanche end. They carry it towards center ice, lose control, and they're able to pick it up. Into the Wenatchee end, shot taken, wide left. Wraps all the way around, out to the point. Knocked into the neutral zone. Johnson's trying to get a stick on it, comes back to ball. Ball sends it across, picked up by Kathy. Kathy steps to the top of the circle, sends it in deep. Johnson's there as he, Kathy takes two hits. Johnson's shot is deflected back in towards the board and then it's sent out of play and we've got a whistle 20-33 left to go in regulation. Neutral zone face off stepping in for it is Shuckman. Goes to Wenatchee. Wenatchee dumps it into the zone. Shuckman's given chase. He's got Kimberly with him. Takes a shot wide right. Comes out. Lorenzis is going to get it to it. He sends it behind the net. Avalanche are there to pick it up. Held in by Wunschel as he puts the referee down on the ice with his shot wrapping around the board up into the corner. Out with it. Comes Wenatchee on the wraparound. Oh, and as a player for the Avalanche comes to try to put a hit on Wunschel, he makes him pay and knocks him down to the ice and he's slow to get up. Turning into a physical contact as everybody's going for the hits now. Separated puck goes out towards the front of the net. Pass is blocked. Comes out to the point. Shots taken. Glove by Bovey. And we'll get a stoppage.
1934 left to play in regulation. Two to nothing is the score in favor of the Wilderness. Avalanche coach is unhappy with the referees, I believe. As the puck comes out to Yates, Yates has got Littler on the move. He sends it up to him and Littler puts a stick on it and the Avalanche goalie is able to corral it as it's sent back from his defense into his glove. 1921 left to go in the contest. Littler's ready. Puck goes down, comes out to Yates. Yates sends it back to Jensen. Jensen sends it across to Carruthers. Polk checked away from Carruthers, but he's quick to get back to it, gives it over to Jensen. Sends it in deep, giving chase is Flynn. Out with it comes Littler. He sends it into the corner. Back towards Jensen. Jensen holds it on the blue line. Good play by him. Sends it in behind. Yates is going to be there to pick it up behind the net. Yates moves out, comes to the top of the circle. Off his foot and out into the neutral zone. Jensen grabs it. He's going to retreat. Sent all the way across to Flynn. Flynn crosses the blue line. And Polk checked away. Avalanche is going to get a penalty on the play. Two minutes on the call. I believe it's a roughing, but I didn't see the referee signal. And center ice faceoff will be ball. Puck goes down, goes back to the Avalanche. They send it in deep. Bovey's there to corral it, gives it up to Wells. Wells looks, comes out from behind the net, sends it over towards the board. Out to Kathy. Kathy thoughts about, thinks about taking a shot, stops and turns around. Good move, keeps control of the puck. A lot of pressure by the Avalanche. And there's a lot of conflict over there as Kathy takes a few shots to the face from the Avalanche player and the Wilderness take exception. And once again, we have a referee's conference out in front of the scorer's table. Kathy goes into the penalty box. Player from the Avalanche go in the penalty box. Probably gonna have to get a few more chairs in the penalty box here if it keeps going the way it is now. What's that? Kathy's in the penal. Kathy's in the box. I think they're going to send Hodgson in the box. Still waiting to hear what the ruling's gonna be. Referee still talking to McKelvey.
Wells is going to enter the box as well. And we have a conference with the scorers tables. Two players in the box, that's Wells and Kathy for the Wilderness. Three players for the Avalanche. Nothing's up on the board yet. 18-10 left to play in regulation. Two to nothing is the score in favor of the Wilderness. There's a two minute penalty comes up for Wells. Now the referee's gonna go talk to the Avalanche coach. I'm not sure I got enough video card room to record all of these conferences. So Kathy's penalty must be an offsetting penalty with the other team as Flynn comes in to take the face off. Yates comes out with it. Sent back in for others is doing a great job of coming to get the play the puck and then Yates sends it out in front. Nice try to get it towards Flynn. Can't quite connect. connect. Long stretch pass by the Avalanche, sent back into the corner. Kept in by the Avalanche. They come make attempt through the middle. Back off to the left as the puck's deflected, sent back in behind the net. Flynn's there with the defense. Carruthers sends it towards the board. Carruthers takes a hit, picks it up from behind the net, sends it back towards Yates. Yates gives it up to Jensen. Jensen's gonna wait with it. 17-15 left in the regulation. Now Hodgson's got the puck behind the net as Wenatchee gets a change. Out with it comes Wenatchee, sends it towards Stenholm. Stenholm gets taken down. Lorenzis is gonna come up, he has the puck. Tips it towards center ice, but picked up by the Avalanche. Knocked away by Ball on a good defensive play by Hodgson. And we've got another penalty. Lorenzis is gonna go into the box with the head contact. 16-42. So that'll be a five on four for two seconds. And then, a, excuse me, five on four on three for two seconds. And then a five on three for 31. So it's getting difficult to call this out. And then Kimberly goes in the box. Now Wenatchee's got four players in the box. It's Lorenzis, Kimberly, Wells, and Kathy are all in the box. Oh, I'm not sure I can keep track of all of this. So Wenatchee's got three players, four on three. Goes to the avalanche. They're inside the blue line, come to the circle. Shot taken, back up behind the net and knocked towards the point by Wenatchee. Comes all the way across, top of the circle. Sent down low, five on three. Wenatchee can't get to it and avalanche. Try to send it across, good block by Wunschel. Comes out to the point, comes across, top of the circle, across, no one's there on the back door. Five on four now is when actually he's cleared one of the penalties. Back into the corner it goes, Wunschel's there for the defense. Excuse me, it's not Wunschel, it's Littler. Wunschel skates off as the puck goes all the way down to the other end and there to defend it is, again, Zach Johnson, as he does a great job of getting down there and putting the pressure on. He sends it back low. Carruthers is there, comes around, sends one off the post, and back in behind the net. One minute left in the penalty for Wenatchee. The Avalanche go the other way. Get it into the Wenatchee end. Shots taken, wide right. Sent in behind the net. And Jensen's able to get it toward, out towards the blue line and finally into the neutral zone. Puck goes behind the net. There to get it's Hodston. Carruthers with a good play. Gets towards the circle.
Hunter's going to get a penalty again. For the cross check. And we'll be back in the box for with a five on three for 20 seconds. And then a five on four power play for the Avalanche with 15.02 left to play in the game. Wenatchee's gonna call a timeout as they wanna to talk to their players and settle them down. As this has become a very physical contest and a lot of penalties here in the last three minutes. So we're guessing Hunter Hodson gets a two and a 10 as Kimberly goes in the box as well as Hunter. And it'll be five on three for 20 seconds here as Littler steps in to take the face off. Avalanche control the face off, come to the other end. Shots taken, wide left. Wraps around to the other side, back to the point. Shot comes in, deflected by Flynn again to the left, and it wraps towards the corner. Wunschel's there, picks it up, and sends it down to the other end, and that'll serve one of the two penalties on Wenatchee. 131 left to go in the second penalty. 1431 left to go in the second half. Ball sends it, picks it up in the neutral zone, sends it back the other direction. Kathy's going to come in, put the pressure on. He chases behind the net. As the Avalanche take it into the Wenatchee zone, good poke check there by Carruthers. And he sends it back to the other end. Ball's going to put the pressure on as the Avalanche get a change and skate out from behind the net. Comes in the neutral zone right to Wells, and he sends it right back again. 53 seconds left in the power play for the Avalanche. Puck's picked up by Johnson at the blue line. He takes a shot wide right. Covered by the Avalanche goalie. We'll get a whistle with 13.44 left in the second half. And 42 seconds left on the penalty. Two to nothing is the score in favor of the Wilderness. Johnson's going to step into the circle, take the face off. Comes back out to Yates. Yates takes a shot right at the goalie, he's able to deflect it off in front. Picked up by the Avalanche, comes out towards the circle, and they're gonna skate it, pass it, excuse me, towards center ice. Dumped in, corralled by Bovey, up to get his Connor Jensen. He takes a big throw all the way to the other end, and it wraps around into the corner. Wenatchee's gonna get a change. 15 seconds left on the power play. Littler's able to poke it away, gets it up to Wells, back into the corner. Wunschel's there, backhands it back to Littler, and it goes back the other way, and that'll expire all the penalties on the board for Wenatchee as the Avalanche take control, but Flynn's there to put the pressure on. Avalanche go down, Flynn's got the puck. He sends it out in front, it's deflected, deflected to the Avalanche. Wunschel's there, he pinches. Both players go down, out in front of the net. Goes the play, and Sinholm sends it out to Littler. Littler's gonna dump it in and go for the change, and Flynn's gonna give chase. Up against the board, out with it. Comes the Avalanche, but quickly there is Carruthers, and he takes the puck back at the point. Picked up by the Avalanche, sent to the neutral zone. Where it's passed back by Chuckman to Jensen. Jensen gives it back over to Carruthers. Basanta touches it and then gets a shot in the back of the head for his efforts as the puck goes into the avalanche area and they take control again. Out from the slot and off the post. It doesn't go in. On the left post is the shot by the avalanche. And Carruthers is going to take the puck. He skates it into the zone himself. He's got Kimberly. Gets through. Shot taken and corralled by the Avalanche goalie. 11.30 left to play in this contest.
Ball's going to have the face-off duties here as he steps in. Puck comes out towards one at the end, but picked up by the Avalanche. Wells gets there, tries to get it in, and Jack Johnson comes and dumps it in the zone and makes a good play, but it's picked up again by the Avalanche. Ball into the corner, comes out to the Avalanche. They try to get it past Wunschel, and they are not successful. Zach Johnson again dumps it in, tries to get it towards Ball, and the Avalanche take control and they head the other direction. Back towards the corner behind the net. Rolls the puck, Jensen's there. So is Wunchel. Again, it's behind the net. Out to the points, moves over towards the middle, drops it in towards the left. Wunchel picks it up. Off the board and into the neutral zone. Ball's there, he's gonna make a move on his own. Takes a look, takes a shot, good stop. Second shot by Johnson's up over the net. Ball grabs it, he is pulled down. Puck comes out, no call. Sick kicked in by Carruthers, good play by Stewart. He comes in front of the net, tries to get it towards John, or Ball, and Ball can't make the play. It probably had something to do with the stick that was going in the back of his head. And the puck goes all the way down the other end for icing. Ten oh three left to go in regulation. Two to nothing is the score as Littler steps in to take the draw. Pops out towards Yates, but it's a little too slow, and the Avalanche are able to get hold of it. Yates comes out at center ice, sends it back towards Carruthers. Carruthers drops it over towards Hodston. Back to Carruthers. He makes a move, gets it up to Littler. Littler's got even strength numbers as he goes to the circle, and he goes down, and they're going to get a penalty on the trip on Littler. Sent out front, Littler puts it in, and it goes back to the board. Carruthers is there. And finally, the Avalanche touch it, and they're gonna get a trip. Nine twenty-nine left to play, as Menachi will be on the power play. On the trip of Cade Littler as he was making the move towards the net. A few Avalanche fans are not happy with that call as Littler steps into the circle. Puck comes out, Littler's able to grab it, sends it across the front, shot taken, covered on a good stop by the Avalanche goalie. 153 left in the power play for Wenatchee as we'll go to the left circle. Puck's dropped, comes out to the point. Jensen's there. He puts it in on the board towards the middle. Littler's going to pick it up, steps in front, sends it towards the front of the net. Carruthers is going to pick it up at the point, sends it down low. That's Flynn. Carruthers. Jensen. Littler. And behind the net, Flynn goes in, puts a stick on it. Littler's going to come up with it. Back out to the point where Jensen's going to send it back low. Flynn picks it up in the corner. Back out to Carruthers. Carruthers back to Flynn. Flynn at the circle. Slowly drifts one in. Wrapped around the board. Carruthers is able to stop it. And he sends it back down to Flynn. 110 left to go on the penalty as Carruthers moves it over. Jensen takes a look. Sends it across. Picked up by the avalanche. And sent all the way down to the other end. Hodston's got it behind the net. He's waiting for his players to get ready. He steps out. Up towards Wells. Wells is going to carry it into the neutral zone. Bounces off the board, down low. Hodston with it at the point. Gives it over to Johnson. Johnson takes a look. Left side of the net. Comes back. Avalanche got it. And they send it down to the other end. Hodgson. 
Hodson goes behind the net to set up the breakout. Comes in, sends it across. Johnson's got it. Johnson carries it in. He's all by himself, makes a move, can't get the handle on it, sends it back behind the net. Balls gets there, but Avalanche get there first and they're gonna wrap it around all the way to the other end. We're five on five hockey and that's gonna be icing. Seven nineteen to play in this contest. Two to nothing is the score in favor of the Wenatchee Wilderness. Stanholm's going to take this face off, sends it back in to, goes back in to the Avalanche. They get it to the neutral zone. And it's offsides. And then we get the whistle. We'll go out into the neutral zone and have another face off. Excuse me, we're gonna to go to the Avalanche in for this face-off, 7.09 to play. Stenholm steps in. Puck goes back into the board, Avalanche are gonna get there first. They turn around, look. Skated into the neutral zone, back into the Wenatchee in. Shot's taken, off of Bovey, and it goes off to the left out in front of the net. Wenatchee quickly recovers, Shuckman's got it, he's got numbers, takes the shot, but it goes off the legs of the Avalanche player back in the neutral zone, picked up there by Carruthers and sent right to the Avalanche. Shot for pass by the Avalanche is gathered in by Haas and he sends it to Kimberly. Kimberly's gonna push it up towards Stenholm. Slow trickler comes in front of the net, gathered in by the Avalanche goalie. 6.25 left to play. Littler with the face off, comes out to the avalanche. Carruthers picks it in at the blue line, steps up. And we get another whistle. And I'm not, and both Littler and a player from the avalanche are gonna head to the box. And I did not see the play. And he is not given a signal. Five on five, so it's offsetting penalties. Must be roughing on both parties, but I didn't see it, so I can't definitively tell you that that's the case. Stenholm's gonna step in. Puck goes back into the corner, picked up by the Avalanche. They send it in to the neutral zone and immediately when actually sends it right back into the corner, Stenholm's giving chase. Avalanche behind the net, up off the board, gathered in by Flynn, good play by him. Yates with it, tries to send it to the middle. Other way, out touched by Stenholm. Avalanche send it in. Hodston with it behind the net. 534 left to play. He sends it to Flynn. Flynn's gonna look all the way towards the other end, off the board. Down low, Stenholm with the pressure. Finacci gets the change. Touched by the Avalanche and sent right back. Picked off by Zach Johnson, who's having a great game. And taken by the Avalanche. Wunschel with the defense. Puck is sent up and out of play. And with 4.59 left to go in the contest, we're gonna have face-off on the Wenatchee end as they hold on to a two to nothing lead. Ball is going to take this draw. Comes out to the avalanche. 
They take it down low, turn around. Wells is on the board. Puck comes out, and Wenatchee's gonna control it. That'll be ball, he sends it out towards Johnson. Comes down low, Kathy's on the run trying to get to the puck, it goes in behind the net. Jensen with it at the blue line. He takes a shot, glove save by the Avalanche goalie. 420 left to play in this contest. Face off goes comes out is underneath the Navalanche player first, picked up by Kimberly. Sent in by Jensen, back him off the board. Oh, and a big hit there on Wunschel. Excuse me, that was Basanta. Puck sent in by Jensen, picked up by the Avalanche. Gathered in by Carruthers at the blue line, and he's held up against the board, and the Avalanche come away with the puck. Breakaway attempt for the Avalanche. They send it in and up over the net. 337 left to play. Kimberly with it. He sends it right back to Carruthers. Carruthers is going to step up. He drops it, and we're going to get a change for Wenatchee with 316 left in the game. Wunschel sends it over towards Stenholm. Stenholm takes the hit, picked up by the Avalanche, and sent back in deep. Wraps around in towards the board. Wunschel's going to be there to defend it. He sends it up towards Flynn. Flynn's got it, carries it, gives it to Stenholm, sends it over to Yates. Yates takes a look, sends it back. Shot taken by Lorenzis, and it's blocked by the Avalanche goalie. Yates again with the puck. He takes a look, sends it in off the board, goes on the chase. Knocked away by the Avalanche and sent back into the neutral zone. Wunschel sends it in deep. 227 left to play. Behind the net. And knocked out. There to pick it up is Hunter Hodston. Gives it over to Wells. Wells takes a look. Sent over to the Avalanche. And that might have been too many men on the ice, but I don't think it was seen by the referees. As the puck is sent out of play with 2.05 left in this contest. Puck goes out to the avalanche. They come drop back. They take a look, send it through the zone. Just get it in the neutral zone where Kathy puts, sends it right back in, giving Chase his ball. He's behind the net, a lot of pressure on him from the avalanche. Sends it towards a goalie who knocks it up into the air and then grabs it to draw the whistle. 144 left to go. Puck's dropped, ball sends it towards the avalanche, it gets wrapped around. Jensen's there to cover, puts it up against the board. Out with it comes Wenatchee, and they're gonna send it all the way down to the other end. Is it is an empty netter? The Avalanche has pulled the goalie. Puck slides way far to the right and we'll have an icing and come in and get 
another face off in the Wenatchee end with 116 left to play. Littler's going to take this face off. Puck's dropped. It goes out to the Avalanche. Can't get the shot off first time. Second time it is. And Bovey's able to knock it down in front of him in front and then put the cover on. A lot of conversations going on between both teams. After that whistle. Puck goes back towards the boards on the Wenatchee in. Avalanche are there. Picked up and sent towards the net. Knocked off to the right. Picked up again by the Avalanche. We get a whistle as there's a ton of contact in front of the net. And Littler and an Avalanche player are going to go into the box. Cade was having some conversations with that player before the last faceoff, and they probably carried that conversation into the contact that was happening in front of the net. Looks like we'll continue with even strength and the empty net with 59 seconds left to go in this contest. Ball comes with face off, comes back. Lorenzis is there. He gets taken down. I'm not sure if it was a trip. I didn't see it. Behind the net comes out. Lifted up and into the neutral zone. Avalanche get it, dump it in. 41 seconds to play. Bovey's there. Players on either end. He needs to get back inside. Comes out in front, deflected off to the right. Again, the Avalanche pick up the puck, send it in deep. This time it's going to be Lorenzis who gets to it. He takes it off the board and sends it over into the other end. 21 seconds to play. Picked up by the Avalanche at mid-ice. Shot's taken and we're going to get an offside call. 10.3 seconds left to go in this game. Chuckman's going to take this draw. <laughs> I don't think the referee could see that she was talking to Kimberly as that comes off. And the players from the Avalanche that she could see, she didn't notice that the other two players behind her had moved up almost within a foot of her. But that is the buzzer for the end of this game. And the Wenatchee Wilderness are going to take a two to nothing victory over the New Hampshire Avalanche. Not a pretty win. Has a lot of contact on both teams. But the Wilderness will take it. And they turn, come down. And let me check, have the Wilderness won all three games this weekend? Have they won all three of their games? That's right. I, I was there. <laughs> so the Wilderness are also 2-1 and one as they lost this morning in a heartbreaker in overtime. But they take the victory here tonight. 2 to nothing over the New Hampshire Avalanche. And that'll be it for this broadcast as I'm going to shut it down and go see if I can get a few hours of sleep before we come back in about... 10 hours to watch the Wenatchee Wolves play their final contest of the weekend. And so that'll be all we have from Hudson, New Hampshire as the Wenatchee Wilderness take the 2-0 victory.